Ah, I love the sound of a Sega CD starting up, don't you? Hello everybody, welcome back to Classic Sega Summer. This is my second edition, mine, OXFU. Nobody else's. <laughs> I mean, other people could do it, I'm, I'm not saying they can, it's just... Alright, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> anyway. Working Designs presents... Popful Mail! A Magical Fantasy Adventure. And... We're going to have a little intro here that I'm going to skip over because it's kind of long-winded, just telling you standard fantasy stuff like, There are three guys that were evil and three heroes defeated them, but now the evil guys are back, probably, maybe, you're going to find that out later. So I'm going to put an annotation if you want to skip it. It's also pretty much just a, an animated slideshow. But if you want to watch it, I'll include it. I'm skipping it, so. See you in a minute. <laughs> who sent savage armies over the land. Necros, master of war, who incited all man to rage eternal. <laughs> I love that scream, it's like a TIE fighter. The overlord, who blackened the world with his foul magic. <laughs> Dwarves and beasts, all inhabitants of the world were locked in hopeless fevered battle against a black fate. Raging like a great fire, insanity swept across the land with the ferocity unmatched in all history. But when at last the smoke had cleared, the masters of evil had suffered a Oh man, is she missing an arm? I think she is. They retreated to a place outside of time, and a black seal was crafted to prevent their return. Of all who fought, only three returned to tell the story. A dwarf, an elf, and a human. Though their names were lost in the mists of time, their labor stands yet today. For the black seal holds fast. Protecting mankind from certain destruction at the hand of the Overlord. See what I tell you. Cliched story, backstory. The other reason I don't really like this is because, you'll see in a second, this game can do so much better. But anyway, welcome to Popful Mail! The game that's anime as fuck! <laughs> and we're gonna start right away because I cannot stand the title music. It... it, it Grading, it's an, it's repetitive, it Ugh. But look at this! I've got you now, you little criminals! <laughs> I mean it's not the best looking by anime standards, but it looks almost like an anime! <laughs> you little freaks of nature don't stand a chance! Give it up! Okay, and yeah, there's scroll there's repeating backgrounds and everything, but <laughs> what is that is that even an insult? <laughs> but for like Sega CD standards, this is fantastic. Two down, one to go. <laughs> I mean, it's leagues. It's it's leagues better than the full motion video stuff. It looks much better than Lunar, which I did last year. By the way, this was also produced by the same company that produced Lunar. Um, I don't remember their name, but they're that's that's why they're known. And this game was originally released for PCs in Japan, but complete with comical sound effects. Uh, <laughs> Sega City was the only localization in the United States. You like a good stereotype! Huh? <laughs> the first time I saw that, I thought that the head, like, snapped off when it passed under her legs and bumped against her... crotch. <laughs> Look at this! This looks fantastic! Surprise! 
and he attacked her with his own head. I mean, I love some of the creativity in these old Sega games. It's, I mean, Nintendo had just a, just as much as well. Don't get me wrong. It's just you don't really hear about it as much with Sega, but it's definitely there. And we've got all the nostalgic cliches of 90s anime right here, which is kind of why I love this game. <laughs> Especially those not-so-sideburns. <laughs> and the, and the woman-almost mullet. <laughs> We're gonna be a while anyway, this, this cutscene takes a while. Because if they're going to do good video, they're going to run with it. I don't even know if there's more video in this game. As many times as I've played this game, I usually don't get much farther than the second boss, so we'll see. But nobody can do a pirate accent better than me! I'm looking for a big bounty, and I only take the best jobs. You might be in luck. A new poster just went up on the town's bounty board. A renegade magician turned into bad tricks. Got an uncommon big reward on him. Great. I can't even Thanks keep my job. accent straight. Oh look, it's Sonic. On the billboard. I'm guessing it's Sonic. Move it, coming through, step aside. Obviously the heroine here. Magician Muttonhead. A reward is offered in the sum of two million gold. Woohoo! This is my lucky day! I'm gonna be rich! Woohoo! I can defy gravity and my arm pads do nothing! Just gonna wait for the music to end. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Popful Mail. We can't go back into the city, so we might as well keep going. It's a fairly... It's a fairly basic world map, but it does its job. I mean, really the action is going to be in here, in the side-scrolling levels. It is a side-scrolling action RPG thing. Platformer thing. It's mostly a platformer action thing. It's mostly an action platformer game. <laughs> Can I do that again? I just like when games have those animations like when you jump and you do a little crouch at the end when you're on the edge of a cliff and your character starts wobbling try to keep their balance I also just really like the music in this game because it does sound a lot like a Sonic game well a Sega game <laughs> but it does sound like a Sonic game Elf Village be careful monster attack zone I have no idea what that means we were fighting monsters already eh let's go anyway Voice acting outside of a cutscene? What was that? What is this witchcraft? It like... Hey, like black are you magic. Blind or something? <laughs> Up in the tree, a dunderhead. Hey, who are you calling it a dunderhead? That's like Huh? That was never an insult. Jeez. <laughs> And animated portraits. Do spiders even have throats? Well, actually, Slick Junior the Third. You can call me Slick. I'm from the village at the bottom of the jungle. Say, uh, can you give me some help here, like today? Well, Slick, why'd you leave your village in the first place? Hey, I was just looking for a little fun and adventure, but I guess my pocket knife just doesn't cut it out here. Yeah, I get it. Say, why don't you take me with you? I bet you have lots of adventures. Why else would you have such a huge sword? Are you coming on to me? Um, excuse me? I think you're confused. I'm a bounty hunter, not a babysitter, bub. You're on your own. Yeah, jeez. Who do you think we are? Some kind of heroine or something? No, we're a bounty hunter. And I kind of like the game for that, that she's not like, Oh, I'm gonna help you for no reason. Uh, no, it's... I'm a bounty hunter. Come on. 
We already... We already established that from the get-go. Also, just... Oh, it's so fluid. I know you can't really get that from the video. Uh, just because you're not playing the game. But it... Everything feels so nice. You got the shield block when you crouch. I forgot about that. You got the hair flowing in the wind. You can turn on a dime. Even in the air, you have some sort of momentum. Everything just feels perfect. Come on, please. You just gotta take me with you. Hey, I'll even pay you, Miss. Miss. Now you're speaking my language. Mail, pop for mail. So, you're gonna pay me to make a man out of you, huh? I'm a little too busy, and you sound like a lot of trouble. If I did consider taking you with me, it'd cost you like two million. <laughs> two million? Are we talking gold here? Who do you think I am? Slicky Warbucks? Nah, 90s Can't references. Hmm, tough break, kiddo. <sighs> Listen. If you're not going to take me with you, and by the way, I think that's a big mistake, could you please tell the villagers where I am? It's the least you can do. Oh, all right. Whiner. For 300 gold. Yeah, no, I don't think we can... I don't think we can really swing that. But, um, no, everything about it just feels really, really good. It just feels... Ah, like I don't actually have to fight the game, and there are so many platformers and just action games where that it, it feels like you're fighting the game every step of the way <laughs> I forgot about that when you when you jump a, a high enough distance she makes the like anime ouch face uh, like I said this game is anime as fuck uh, and I love it for it because it's 90s anime as fuck honestly it's it's not a worse game <laughs> and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make enemies by saying what I would think is a worse game unfortunately we got hit because I wasn't paying attention and we had to use up our an elixir that we had which re restore our health if he if we die again we're gonna get a game over so I better get out of the menu how do I do that there we go okay I always forget which button it is which let's save so far as I know, this game does not allow you to... Because I've not beaten the game. I've played it many times, but I've not beaten the game. Many times since I was shown it. I think it was sophomore year of college. I had a friend show it to me. Um, those herbs we just picked up restore life, by the way. But, uh... No, I've never, I've never actually beaten the game. And every time I try to go back to play the game... Uh, I'm told that there's no RAM data to load, so I'm thinking that you cannot actually make long-term saves, that you have to beat this entire game in one playthrough, which is really the only failing in this game so far as I can tell. Let's talk to this guy, see if he has voice acting. Hey, where'd you come from? No, that's too bad. Not every not every character has has voice acting, but there are a surprising amount of people that do have voice acting, like this guy. Hmm. Another slick caper, eh? What has he done this time? Just the facts, ma'am. Well, let's see. Monsters chased him up a tree. Now the dumb kid's too scared to come down, and he's waiting for your help. Hmm. Sounds like a second story job. We'll take it from here, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, she's not gonna talk to... Well, she is gonna talk to us, but she's not gonna say anything. I do like how they do the shops in this game, though, because they're just more detailed portraits, but they do have blinking and stuff. I, I, it's, it's small things. I don't... I like it. I think they do a lot of things that are cool in the game. Unfortunately, the game itself doesn't... So far as I've gotten, doesn't get very interesting it pretty much stays the same stuff which isn't too big of a deal it just it feels a little repetitive after a while if I can get far enough I'll show you 
No, I keep hitting the wrong button to get out. It's quite strange to have visitors in our little village. Another guy with a red cape was here a while ago, too. He said he was on a quest to find his mentor. Path he took is crawling with monsters. I hope he's okay. Ah, well, I bet we'll never run into him, right? Right? Uh... <laughs> anyway, we're done with the elf village. We've told him where to get Slick Slicky Warbucks. <laughs> no, Slick Jr. the third. Oh. Well, hi. What brings you here, stranger? I'm male. Popful male. Don't call me stranger. I'm looking for a magician called Muttonhead. There's a bounty of two million gold on his head. Oh, well, you're on the right path, because I saw that rotten gingerbread <laughs> grifter gang pass this way. They're in league with Muttonhead, you know. What? They were here and you let them get away? Where are they? Which way did they go? No, the Calm names down, in this game. Male. I'm after those crooks, too. By the way, I'm Namo. If you happen to find them, let me know, and I'll help you nab them. Oh, sure. And let you get the reward. Nice try, Haystack. Well, I'll tell you, Bounty Hunter. I'm very strong. Just keep me in mind, okay? The Gingerbread Grifter Gang. <laughs> These names. <laughs> anyway, we're out of the Elf Village. Oh, forgot he takes three hits. Uh, and we can just head on up here and be on our way. If I don't jump into spiders. I like this game. I'm not terribly good at it. Like I said, everything feels nice. It's just that... I don't, I don't like to pay as much attention as I'd like, as I should. Just because I want to have fun. I don't want, I want to go fast. I want to, I want to, I want to stab things with my sword. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Did we get that? No. Oh well, we're going to have to watch for falling rocks. Oh god! Golems? What's that? What's up with that? Wasn't expecting... Okay, I was. <laughs> I guess I've played this game before, but <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to make I was trying to make them more exciting than they actually are. They're just mechanical beasts who will drop uh, boulders on you. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a chest somewhere. Oh, it's on that side. There's a chest up there. As one of the interesting things this game does, it puts chests in sort of odd places, so you have to explore a little to find out where they are. Unfortunately, most of them aren't that great. Oh no, it's not over here. Shoot. Like, you do have some sort of a drive to explore, which is nice. Oh, you know where it is. It's right up on that platform. That's the one I was looking for. I've never been able to get that chest on the left side of the screen either. The one with the, uh... Oh. This is getting dangerous. Let's, uh, eat an apple, shall we? Heal some, heal some life up. Like I said, it is sort of action RPG platformer as well, because we do have stats like vitality and everything. So far as I know, we can't actually le we cannot actually level up or 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 whatnot. But I don't know. I, I can't remember if we can level up or not. I don't know if it's if it's tied to your character, or it's tied to your weapons, or something like that. See these guys, I have a problem with because it's. It feels like you can't get close enough to hit an enemy sometimes without running into them. I think that's just me, but I, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to bring us to the first boss in this classic Sega Summer episode, just because, well, I, I want to show it off. This is not the right way. I need to go down one level. And move over from there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just noting, noticing the parallax scrolling in the background, too. 
because I don't know when I, when you put this thing on display, you notice all sorts of things you never you never looked at or paid attention to before. Ah, a guy in the red cape. Hello there. Say, I've watched you slice your way up here. Most impressive, I must admit. Who are you? I'm male, Papa male. God, how many times do I have to say it today? There's a big reward for him. Oh. Muttonhead used to be my teacher. We always used he to make fun of him. Kind and wonderful person. But then, <laughs> and write notes sudden, and draw pictures of him as a wrong. sheep. It was Actually, it was a great time being in school. <laughs> but the monster just ahead stopped me dead in my tracks. He's much too powerful for my simple scepter. Don't worry. I'm sure I can take him. I've had a lot of practice lately. This shouldn't take long. Okay. Well, be careful. Let me know when it's all clear, okay? Anyway, if you could tell from the bo from the title screen, I almost said box art. This guy is going to be our our companion in a little while. Uh, not right after the boss fight, because he's just going to be like, "Oh well, thank you," and then head off. But oh god, the mad bomber has appeared. What do we do? Well, we'll fight him. Uh, if you stand under any of these platforms you're safe you just got to make sure that he doesn't hit you with his bombs it's it, 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 they're pretty easy to avoid it's just you got to make sure you don't get a, a bit too cocky which is usually my problem it can take a while to beat if you're not if you don't take a little risks a few risks he he does take a while but he's got a pretty simple pattern so He's not really that much of an enemy, at least not compared to the second one. Oh my god, I have so many problems with the second boss in this game. Oh, almost missed him. Yeah, I'm willing to take that hit. Because otherwise we'd be here forever. Music's not that great. Pretty repetitive, but... Everything looks great, which is really... My main concern right now. There we go, we got him. Nothing to write home about. Yeah, we did it! We don't get a health upgrade, unfortunately. And... Oh no, I wanted to go in there. Don't think we got uh, an upgrade to our to our stats at all. I could be wrong though. I've never actually checked. Wow, you destroyed the mad bomber. Yeah, it was pretty easy. <laughs> get on with the search for my master. Didn't I say he'd be a piece of cake? I don't kid around when it comes to a fight. Well, as I said, your skills are quite impressive. By the way, I'm Tat, apprentice magician extraordinaire. Hopefully, we'll meet again soon. So when are we going to meet the other guy? Tit <laughs> anyway, so this has been a look at Popful Mail on the Sega CD for Classic Sega Summer uh, with me, OXFU, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys give this game a look if you haven't before, because we're going to head on to Tree Sun. Tree Sun. Tree sun. Nah, I don't get it. <laughs> and see some silly enemies! <laughs> yes, a robotic mantis with sunglasses. I can be silly with the rest of them. I never said it couldn't. By the way, if you jump down there, you get hit by the, by the gears. They hurt you like spikes. At least they change it up as well. I mean, this isn't just the same old platforming that we had in the other ones. I guess my only real complaint with this game is that the fighting is kind of stop and go, unless you're fighting a boss. Because otherwise it's just, oh, get up in their face and just mash. Mash A. Paper mash A. Other than that, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, I didn't know you couldn't you couldn't attack while you're on the ledge. Huh. You learn something new every day. Yeah, we got cherries. 
Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. I th <laughs> this time, for real, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Give it a shot. I think it's pretty good. If you have a Sega CD, if you, uh... If you want to download an emulator, pick your poison. <laughs> oh, you know what? I do want to get to a certain area. Whoa, jeez. Watch where you're shooting that thing. I do want to get to a certain area, so I'm not going to finish right away, because they do change up this level a little bit, and I think it's, I think it's kind of really cool for a 2D scrolling platformer action RPG element game. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. Whoa! Come on! Can't you give a girl a break? I just got up here and you're already shooting lightning balls at me. I always forget to block as well. I don't know if it actually does anything, because every time I block it seems like... Nah, nah, that's not actually... Huh. You thought that would be useful. Get out of here, raccoon. Do you think your pig sticker's gonna do anything? Also, I, I've gotten in the habit of just just jumping down from terribly high heights, because you don't take damage. Uh, we're going to eat an apple. And actually, before I forget, we're going to save, too. Yes. Ah! <laughs> he only comes on screen, and then he attacks me. That's, I, like, I actually didn't expect them, because I thought there was only one one of the Mantis guys here, but... Ah, here we go. Let's press, press this button, shall we? Oh, we can't. Hey! Is someone out there? Please, help me! The wizards above are guarding the key to my cell! Can you get it? Sorry. Can't get involved unless there's something in it for me. What? Oh, okay. Listen, uh, help me out of here and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, now you're talking my language. How much? Oh, that face. Let me think. <laughs> How about 200 gold? 200 gold? Uh, yeah. I guess you don't want to be rescued too badly. I might consider it for, say, 700 gold or so. 700 gold? Man, I don't have that much, but if you'll consider 500 gold, we have a deal. Fair enough. Consider yourself a free man. Alright, so let's go fight those mages, flip the switch, you know, standard stuff. These guys are a little stronger. You gotta do a little more jumping around, dodging their bullets. It's pretty easy stuff, though. Just get, get in a rhythm. Oh no, we got hit. That's not good, because I need that elixir for the boss. Actually, I'm doing quite badly right now. No, 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 no. And we died. Oh well. <laughs> Pass the aspirin. <laughs> I forgot about that. She, I, as far as I know, she has like... I think it's like... 10 or 20 different sayings every time you get a game over. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard one repeated, actually. Not often. Not often. There's a lot, let's say that. <laughs> anyway, this has been Popful Mail with me, Oxfu, for Classic Sega Summer. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I'm gonna continue. I want to find out more about what's going on in Treason. <gasps> treason! Oh, I get it now. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next time for the next classic Sega Summer episode I do. Take it easy. Ah! You damn wizard. <laughs>